everyone, it's Shelly, your Adults in Motion Executive Director, and today is Sorting Day! Yes, Sorting Day. I think maybe some of you got a little excited at the idea of sorting cluttered and messy and disorganized spaces. It's normal to want to be in a space that's clean and tidy and neat, but I think maybe some people when they hear sorting and decluttering get a little overwhelmed or a little nervous about how big that job might be. Well. Today we're gonna to do some sorting and we're gonna learn that sometimes just diving into the job and getting it done is the best way to get started and it feels so good to be decluttered and reorganized once the job is done. So you'll find that it's actually quite a bit of fun. So first thing we're gonna start off is we're gonna start off with sorting socks. Now I chose socks because we have a bit of a sock thing here in the Murphy house. Apparently no one likes to sort or fold socks. So we've ended up with a fairly big hamper of unsorted socks that just sits on our laundry counter wishing or praying that maybe someone in the middle of the night will come and magically sort these socks. Apparently, this hasn't happened yet. So we're gonna sort my socks, or I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sort my socks. And maybe if you don't have socks to sort in your house, maybe you have laundry that needs folding, or maybe a t-shirt drawer that maybe is messy and you should fold it up and tidy it up. So I'm gonna grab my socks, you grab whatever it is in your house that needs to be sorted that has to do with maybe clothing or laundry and we'll get started. Okay, welcome back. I went and I grabbed my, sort, my sock bin and are you ready? Here it is. Yes, some of you might say, well Shelly, you just grabbed an entire laundry hamper full of clothes. And you could assume that based on the size of this hamper of socks. You might also ask, Shelly, what is your family wearing on their feet? Because all of the socks you own are in this basket. And I would say you are almost absolutely accurate. So they will be very happy once I sort these socks as well. So let's see what's inside. There could be some surprises in here. You never know what you're gonna find in the sock bin. Oh yes. Oh, oh a pair of jeans. Ryder, I found your missing pair of jeans. Okay, so if this screen could show you actually how big this sock pile is, it would be even more embarrassing than what you're seeing right now. Okay, so first, whatever's in front of you, you wanna sort it probably by color or style. For me, I have all socks, so I'm gonna sort the socks into colors. If you have clothes or a laundry hamper full of clothing, uh, you can sort, maybe you wanna put piles of t-shirts and piles of pants and start making little categories. Okay, so why don't I leave you to it, sorting and matching, and we'll come back. Welcome back everybody. Okay, I made it this far. I found all of the black or really dark socks and our patterned or color socks and our white socks. Can you tell right away which socks in our house are more popular? Mm-hmm, the black socks. Which actually tells me one of two things. We buy more black socks or the people who wear the black socks don't fold them and take them up and put them away. Hmm, what do you think's more likely? I normally wear white socks or colored socks. Hmm, so I'll keep sorting and I will post my finished piles on the comment section to below this video um, on Facebook or Instagram. And oh, I had Pippi helping me out too. And uh, so she was, she was a, a nice visitor. It's gonna take me a long time to do this. So I'm gonna do one more sorting activity as another idea. If you don't have laundry to do, I bet you you have a messy drawer or a messy cutlery drawer or a junk drawer that you could find. So. I'm gonna go grab mine and I'm gonna show you how to do that too. One second. Hi, back again. Whoa, check this out. Now, you might not be able to see from my video, but this is one disorganized junk drawer. Now, I pulled it right out of the cabinets. Um, actually, I didn't do it, I admit it. I had to ask Rod for some help because I couldn't figure out what button to push. So he pulled it out for me and here it is. So I see some patterns and some trends in here. I see that we have pens and pencils and we have a lot of paper, you can see that. And we have things like fasteners and clips. This is a fidget toy. 
So you know what, we have some things in here that belong in a junk drawer and things in here that maybe should have it be in a different place in the house, like a fidget spinner or, um, I don't know, certain things, a flashlight. I kind of don't feel like a flashlight belongs in a junk drawer. It should be maybe out in the garage or in a flashlight spot. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time sorting this. So if you have a drawer that's um, maybe your pens and pencils drawer in your kitchen or even maybe even like a, um, a cutlery drawer, um, you can go over to it and maybe start sorting and putting things into categories too. I'll be right back. The finished product. So as you're sorting today and choosing the places that you want to declutter or organize, remember you can use things around the house to help sorting easier. Me, I use boxes that I already had to help separate things and put them together. Or you can use shoe boxes or Tupperware boxes or containers that you have that you can sort into. Uh, you can also just sort by putting things together that are the same. So some ideas for today sorting laundry, matching socks, cleaning out the junk drawer, organizing the utensil drawer, forks, knives, spoons. You can even sort things out in the garage. Screwdrivers maybe, uh, sorting them by color or so